welcome back to Social Divas. And today, I've decided not to do a movie, but to do like a story time instead. So, this is the kind of like the story time. It's not really a story, but it's like so. This happened like, to me in every job that I have, where. So say that, in. So Chinese like when you're in the U.S. when you are Chinese in the U.S. or, even though whether you they celebrate it or not in the Amer- even though like Americans they don't celebrate you know the Lunar New Year, so, but as a tradition, for like Chinese. All over the country, they do do it. So, but not so they do take like two to three days off, depending when like the Lunar New Year is. Like this year, the Lunar New Year happened to be um on a Friday, so on the eve, like on a Thursday, they will like work in the half day, then they will take. Friday and Sat Friday Saturday and Sunday off, and this always have the questions for me, like especially like in the in Asia, saying that. So for Lunar New Year, you that the companies all expect to like all Chinese to take off. On the eve and the day after, like, it's not not the eve, the Lunar New Year day and the second day, which is the day after, and. But, what I'm fascinated about saying in, lots of companies, especially. Now that like saying, oh, all the Chinese that. In one of my, the companies, that I worked for, they. So one month before, the, we all tell the manager saying, we would like to have. This day, this day, this day, and this day off. So one month ago, they will tell you say, okay, no worries. Uh, you can have this. So if you say. Uh, let's say the Lunar New Year happened to be second of January, third January, and fourth January. So you tell them on December, like twenty eight, that I would like, or like at least December first. You tell I will tell the manager I would like January second, third, and fourth off because it's the Lunar New Year. And then, New Year's Day ha- comes on the first of January. The manager will text everyone, all the Chinese, saying, "Oh, we need you to come and work on New Year's Day, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, and the second day of Lunar New Year, because all the Indians are off." And my question is, why do you let? And that's not the worst. They will they will tell you saying, all the Indians have asked for annual leave, on the eve, Lunar New Year, and the second day. So then, my question is that it's the supposed to be a public holiday for all the Chinese. And we told you one month before, but why do you let tell us one day before that? Oh, uh, all the Indians are going off on a public holiday that is not their for their religion. You know what I mean? Because 
for me saying that if other Catholics ask off on the 25th, whether you are an Indian Catholic or you are a Chinese Catholic or you are a Black Catholic, okay, that makes sense because, you know, on the 24th and the 25th, you have the right to ask off if you are a Catholic, but if you are not a Chinese and you don't celebrate Chinese New Year, why are you asking off for annual leave on like a relig- like religions is that's like Chinese New Year is not even a religious thing is something that is like a holiday for all that for all the culture for those, that culture so it is like you know for me as a Chinese it's like me asking my manager can I have um annual leave on Deepa Valley or annual leave in on um what do you call it? Idu Fitri? Like Ramadan season? You know what I mean? Like because it's not my religion like it's not my culture to be celebrating Ramadan or like like Deepa Valley, so why are you when you're not part of the culture asking annual leave on a culture that is not for you. So, yeah.